Hey guys, Hermit here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about macro photography and how you can take a standard lens, a zoom lens or a prime lens and convert it into a macro lens. How do you do that? Well, you get yourself one of these. It's a MCEX uh, macro extension tube by Fujifilm. Um, they have two of these. There's the uh, MCEX 16 and the MCEX 11. So both of them, when attached to the camera, allow your stand lens, such as this, to be able to get close to the subject and almost get close to a macro ratio. Which means when you take your standard lens like this, uh, you can get really close to your subject and take some photos. So I've got a, a neat little setup here, um, thanks to my daughter for helping me set this up. Um, she has this Harry Potter set uh, in, in Lego which she's kindly donated for this video for the purpose of that and she was kind enough to set this up for me earlier. So thanks darling. Um, and uh, now I'm going to be taking this X-T4 and I'm going to be taking some macro shots with this 16 to 80 lens and then I'll switch over to a few other lenses as well. But first I want to show you how close you can get with the standard lens without the extension tube. And once you attach the extension tube, then how close you can get to that subject as well. So let's get started. Okay, so I am using the 16 to 80 lens and uh, I have got it set to app, um, Auto speed, 400 ISO, zero exposure compensation, and the film simulation I'm using is classic negative. So let's see how close I can get to the subject and focus. All right, let's get close to the subject. Okay, so that's how close I can get. You can get an idea of the distance, how far away I am from the subject. Now I'm gonna attach the extension tube. So we're gonna stand, start with the 11. So let's do this quickly. Turn the camera off. Okay. Now let's see how close we can get to the subject. Now I'm gonna zoom all the way in. So I'm using the longest length or the focal length of the lens. And let's see how close we can get now. Pretty close. You can see how close I can get to the subject now. Still able to focus, now it cannot focus. So that's the closest. If I move back a touch, Yep, focus is. Let's attach the MCEX 16 now. Okay. All right, so let's zoom in again and see how close we can get to this. I can focus. You can see now how close I'm able to focus with this extension. Okay, so turning your lens, standard lens into a macro lens using the extension tube. Okay, so now I have a prime lens. This is the 56 millimeter f 1.2 lens. Now I'm going to use this to take some shots of this little setup. Let's see how close I can get with this lens um, when I have the extension tube and then also obviously without. So if I try and focus from here, I know it won't be able to because anyone who owns a 56 millimeter lens would know that you need approximately 75 or 80 centimeters before you can focus on this lens. So let's try that again. 
okay i can focus from here which probably i'm not in the frame anymore so let's attach the extension tube turn the camera off remove the lens and i'm just going to go with the 16 for this so that's this one here mce x16 attaching this line up the red dot line up the red dot here click in and then line up this red dot here click in I'm just going to crank up the iso because of the extension tube what it does is also reduces the number amount of light that goes into your lens so you might have to um, add some more light in your scene or uh, obviously crank up the iso which i'm doing in this case so now let's see how close i can get with this Okay, won't focus here. Let's try getting closer. Wow, huge difference. Now I'm able to focus extremely close with this lens. Run over here. Hello, Ron. Why so sad? Okay. You can see the distance is probably one quarter of what it is originally in this particular lens. So once again, using this extension tube, I can get closer. What you can also do is you can take a second extension tube and attach and stack that between the, the lens. So you have two extension tubes and then you have your lens. What this will do is obviously let you get even closer, but between having one and having both stacked, I don't think it makes a huge difference. You um, get a tiny bit closer, but at the same time, you also lose a lot of light that's entering your lens. So just for argument's sake, let's just try it out because I just want to show that it still works, this combo, if you have both extension tubes. Um, so let's attach them both together on this lens. And I'm going to shoot at f2.8 and get real close really really close you can see i'm able to get a lot closer now okay so the lens still works both extension tubes you can get even closer as you can see here i can focus about here which i wasn't able to do before with uh, just the one extension tube but it doesn't make a whole lot of difference i think having one or the other does the job just fine all right hope you like that video that's just uh, showing you how you can take a bunch of extension tubes one or two uh, to convert an ordinary lens into a macro lens and take some pretty cool up close close-up shots of any subject so the flowers insects uh, still life whatever you might be interested in so thanks again for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you got any questions leave them down in the comments below and i'll see you soon with more videos on this channel thanks guys oh before i go hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel thanks bye